Okay, I'm here with Chuck Lee from Fujinon uh, with a very exciting uh, piece of news, PL Lenses from Fujinon. Uh, we love their glass, we love their zoom lenses, we love their E-Series Primes. Now we are finally blessed with some PL Series glass. Chuck, tell us all about it. Uh, you're too kind. <laughs> well, as you know, uh, Fujinon has been involved with the uh, digital cinema market for years and um, in, a, in a leadership role, we've, we've uh, provided the lenses for many high-budget features that have been sex successful from Star Wars to Michael Mann's franchises and to um, Robert Altman and, and Robert Rodriguez. So we've, we have a, a history of, of digital cinema lenses, but we were not a player in the, in the larger format size, the PL mount. So at this show, we are in introducing a series of lenses, PL series, that's um, four focal lengths, with um, high performance optics that we're we're quite excited about. Now, what what took so, I can say what took so long? What kept you from entering this game? You guys always made amazing glass. Obviously, PL is the utmost standard in cinematography uh, in Hollywood. What was holding you guys back from getting into that field? Well, it's it is ironic because uh, Fujinon is is totally owned by Fujifilm, and Fujifilm has been making motion picture film for years. We. We've made lenses for the uh, two-third inch video and HD market, but we've, we've never made a motion picture film lens. Um, but the market has changed a lot uh, with, the, with the movement towards digital cinema in the, in the larger format, 35 millimeter, um, with the new cameras coming out. We thought, well, we could, we could take our expertise and, and, and make, maybe make a product that people would want. Now, tell me, in these lenses, are they optimized for CMOS chips? Are they optimized for digital cinematography? Or if I threw one of these on a film camera, would I be getting the same result? Well, they will work on film cameras, of course. We're showing a, a 535B right here, and, uh, but for three perf. They're, they're not full aperture. They'll cover 16, 16 by 9. Uh, 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 so they're, they're not designed to do full aperture for perf, no, no. But um, with, the, with the new cameras coming out, we can see a need for for a certain level of optics that we thought we could do. So if, if, for example, I put this lens on a RED camera or on a D21, am I getting anything extra that I wouldn't have gotten by putting an old series, let's say an old Cook S4 lens? Well, you know, our, our competitors, obviously, we're new to the field, and, and, and the existing uh, providers of, of lenses for the... 35 format are, are, are formidable. They, they make great products and, and, and there's no denying that. Uh, we've, in, in the lenses that we've introduced, we've, we've tried to add some, some areas that, that could be useful to the cinematographer. But on a film camera or digital cinema, uh, the primary design criteria was for the emerging digital cinema cameras though, that, that we, to optimize the performance of, of existing and emerging digital cinema cameras, which includes the RED, which includes the D21 and the F35 and the Phantom, yes. So is there anything in the way of um, UV or IR cut that's built into the design at all? Definitely IR cut in there and anti-aliasing filters and so forth, but we did optimize for the digital cinema camera but they will do a fine job on an existing film 35 as well. That's fantastic. So can you give us the specs of the lenses that are currently available in the PL series? Well, uh, currently available would be none of them. <laughs> but uh, we, we, like I said, we, we, we introduced uh, four lenses here today. We've got the 18-85 to 85 T2 lens that will be delivered first, and we're hoping to del deliver that at the end of May, possibly early June, but certainly soon and that'll be the first one out of the out of the uh, hopper but uh, there's three more lenses by the end of this year we look to be delivering and the, the ranges on those is there's a 14.5 to 45 t2 very fast there's a uh, 24 to 180 t 2.6 wow. and then a lens that's got a lot of people's interest is the 75 to 400 which is a t28 with some ramping at the tele end, which will be to a T4. So it's a T8, T28 to T4, yeah. And, and do we have, I know it's early, but is there a price point already? They're not cheap. We, uh, <laughs> there is a price point that will uh, scare a lot of people, but it, it's for the 18 to 85, the price we've established as of the show is 82,900.
Yes. That's correct. <laughs> so, you know, the, the primary market uh, for this is not for the low cost uh, production or possibly not for the independent owner, but for the rental houses. So um, that's our primary market. And, and it's for, for, you know, high budget features, commercial work, um, compositing that requires a certain type of lens. Um, we're, we're we're entering the PL market from the high end side. That's that was the factory's decision, and and that's where we're we're, we're starting at least. That's great. Now, obviously, it begs the question: primes. Are we going to see PL primes? Uh, you know, as of this time, no plans for PL primes. Uh, there's a lot of great PL primes out there now, and there's a lot of primes uh, of every cost level, but from the the master primes on down to there's plenty of primes out there. What what hasn't been released recently is a new set of PL zooms, and um, I think what's what's unique to to this NAB for us is you know we're 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 introducing uh, four major color matched focal length zooms in a period of eight months, and it'll be a match set that same size front element. Um, same physical working size, so to change lenses, you have you have the uh, the range of 14.5 millimeters out to 400 in a in a match set. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's pretty well, good. thank you. Well, th again, I'm here with Chuck Lee with Fujinon. I think it's a great announcement. Finally, we get another player in the zoom lens range who knows exactly what he's doing in this range, and uh, we're very excited to see this product work. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Chuck.